Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I have another PS3 video for you and today I wanted to talk about uh, Multiman. This is a beautiful application for the PS3 once you have custom firmware installed. It's a crazy application that allows you to play all sorts of different games um, but you have to have that type of compatibility for your custom firmware so if you're able to run PS2 games with that custom firmware then you're able to uh, use Multiman uh, to your advantage and what you can basically do is just copy your games and turn them into ISOs and save them on your hard drive and I'll show you a couple examples here and I've been having a lot of fun I've been just tinkering around with it for a few hours today and I have Grand Theft Auto here saved along with Resident Evil 5. Here is uh, Resident Evil 5. And I plan on copying Uncharted 2. I do have the third one and the first one. So I have to go digging. I have a bunch of games just sitting in my garage. Uh, this one says $3, but I actually bought it for a lot less. I bought this really nice bundle of PlayStation 2 and 3 games for very cheap um, and you can also play your PSP games on here no problem and I'll be uh, testing out that out uh, later in another video I think that'll be a lot of fun and I did copy over a PS1 game which here it is man I'm like so excited to bring you guys uh, a lot more content here on the channel and here is the retro stuff so I copied over this random PS1 game that I found and it's called Bubs B 3D take a look at that for the PlayStation for the PS1 and it's working just fine it, it, it's crazy how well some of these games play on the PS3 and all you have to do is just throw in your disc so for example I'll throw in um, I guess I already did these two. I copied over uh, Black, which uh, I've never played before. And then we have Red Faction 2. Never played this one either. So these are just some random games that I received a long time ago. That huge bundle that I was uh, talking about earlier. Um, so yeah, some of the controls are pretty awful though. Like, oh man, it's not as, as good as today's standards. We have Assault Retribution. This is a PS1 game. Uh, so I'll throw this into the PS3 here. And let's go to game here. So there is Assault Retribution for the PS1. So I just press triangle and create ISO. And I can save it to either my USB drive or to my PS3 hard drive. And at the bottom you can see I'm, I'm at uh, 43 point 39 gigabytes left and it, it's gonna go by so fast once you start copying games uh, Over some of your favorites and there's just too many good ones, right? So now it's creating the ISO and it's gonna take some time uh, For me for the ps1 games. They took about uh, less than 10 minutes to copy over. They're not too large um, however, the ps3 games took like 25 to 30 minutes and the PS2 games was like 10 to 15 minutes. So not bad. It just depends on which game you're copying over. I have this really cool PS3 one, which is Splinter Cell. Uh, it has Splinter Cell HD. So it has a Stealth Action, Redefined, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory. So just kind of a random video today. I'll, I'm just so excited about the uh, homebrew scene, the whole homebrew stuff on the ps3 console and i'm i'm pretty stoked i'm i'm very excited very happy that i finally got it but now i have to get uh, a new hard drive for it and i'm hoping that i can shrink my um my two terabyte hard drive see here it is my barracuda uh two terabyte hard drive so excited to get this installed and i just completely failed that so i'm gonna have to uh mess around with this and yeah all right so it took about five minutes to get this game copied over assault retribution and under my retro it should show up here there it is and i will remove the disc here let's remove that disc 
there it is there's the disc and let's go to retro and what we want to do is load the game so let's load that it's going to take us back to the original xmb and get us out of multi-man application there we go and now we have this playstation format disc what is that what is it information no information let's run it and this will be our ps1 game that we just copied over and i don't really hear the fan like going crazy or the disc running crazy i mean i ran like all of these games here no problem and the only time that the fan starts to pick up is when i start running a game um my ps3 slim is pretty old it's one of the original ones that i bought back in 2009 i believe 2010 and i have like a old unboxing video here on the channel that you can probably find that's live and yeah it's not bad i don't got audio really hooked up to um let's see here i'm not sure if the ps3 is let's take a look at this real quick there is our audio for the game let's reduce that and i don't know why i didn't hook it up before but yeah assault retribution in less than 10 minutes i got it copied over and now i'm running it on my ps3 how sick is that i've never played this game at all so i gotta tell you guys i'm not a big fan of the ps3 uh, controller uh, i love the ps4 controller uh, analog sticks a lot better um, so i'm gonna have to transition and change it to that but yeah here's the game pretty solid i'm very happy with this and I can't wait to start buying some of these older PS2 games at thrift stores. Because here locally, there's a bunch of them for very cheap. I did get uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Vice City, San Andreas, and Grand Theft Auto 3 for very cheap. For like 3 bucks each, but I already sold them on eBay. There was like two sets of each, so it was nuts. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Oh, this, you know what? This is actually not a bad game. It's like a side scroller shooting game. Not bad. And my health is just declining here. So let's go back home and quit the game. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.